what's up people, Dr. Wolf Strikes here and welcome to another month of pack openings! It's not all pack openings this month, we're going to get yourself four lovely lip syncing videos along the way because it is the month that everybody loves and that is Halloween month. Of course the first, li um, first lip syncing video that you're going to see is not going to be a full on Halloween related song but there is going to be three nice banging Halloween songs coming your way. But anyhow! We got two Yu-Gi-Oh pack openings this month and then all the rest are Pokemon. It's just some stuff that's from the filler from the past few months, past year or so. But today we are opening up Wild Survivors. Now this set, as you guys know, I opened up some of this when I was um, in Japan. And it was my first time seeing it and what did I think of it? I think it was amazing, it was a great set. But sadly for us in the United Kingdom, we get it as a seven card pack set. That means all rares and one guarantee super rare or ultra rare or even a collector's rare. And you guys know how rare collector rares are. They're stupidly hard to find. But main cards I'm actually hoping to grab out of here, the chef cards. I really do like the chef cards, but of course this card here, these archetypes. These are the most viable cards in the set and as well as the new dinosaurs. The chef ones are not really going to be meta, but they are quite fun. Anyhow, let's stop jibber jabbering, let's crack them open, and let's see what we can pull. Out of how many cards packs have we got here? We've got uh, eight packs here. We're hoping to get at least one ultra rare if we can get something out of it. And here we go, we get ourselves one of the big massive beasts of incarnate when it comes to dinosaurs, the ultimate Conductor Tyranno. Nice, we got Maju and the 10,000 hands, a very good old classic retro card. We got pre permission of Rights, which old spell card. We got ourselves this dude again, I keep seeing this guy so many times, he's so common as a rare. Good to see this card finally get a reprint, we got a Soul Eating. This was a super rare back in the day, so it's nice to get a rarity debuff. We got Tenki, Fire Formation, another good expensive card. And there we go, we get ourselves our first super rare right here, and that is one of the chef cards. Uh, can't, can't speak French, so I'm not even going to even try to see what it is, but it's quite a cool card. I like it. I love my chef cards, okay, people? So if I can actually make a chef deck, I absolutely definitely will do. It is quite cool, the um, archetype. Giant Rex, okay, some good dinosaurs here. I love dinosaurs, a rare is really, really good to get as well. Ooh, True King, the disaster. It's a wind monster. Okay. We got uh, Candol. Nice, Deck Devastating Virus. Very good card. Oh, another one of the chef cards. And there's a ritual card, there we go. We got the meat recipe. Okay. At least we're getting those chef cards that I really wanted. So yeah, I'll take that any day. I'm not going to sleeve up the rares just yet. I'll do them off camera because the, you'll get these all the time. They're pretty much your class of a common, if you guys want to know. We've got enemy controller. Uh, super soaring. Dinosaur card. There's Petite Diagon. This was a, a ultra rare a long time ago in a structure deck and it never got printed ever since. Good to see it get a reprint. We got Bookstone. Another one of these dudes. Another right. And there's the other chef card. Hey, they've got the cover card. Uh, don't have a clue what his name is, as you guys know, because he's doing French, but whatever. I don't mind it. Another super rare and it is another chef card. I got hope that the ultra rares are not the chef cards, because if they are, that means they're going to be a lot, lot harder to build. Uh, Calamity Caesar. Another Bookstone. Ha, ah, there can be only one. Whoa, that's cool. Dinosaur card. Another good reprint right there. Another virus. Erup erupt a epidemic virus. Wow. We get another double. We get a double this time. That's a bit of a bummer, but still, it's a chef card. Hey, I'm hey, I'm actually getting really, really lucky getting my chef cards. To be honest, 
Another great card to get reprinted for the dinosaurs. This was an ultra rare a while back. And it was super expensive. I think it was like about a seven pound card. Possibly this card's going about two quid now. Maybe a pound if we're lucky. Okay. Now oh, we've got ourselves the quill. Baby Saurus, good reprint. We got ourselves staff recipe, trap card for, the, for those chefs. Whoa, that is cool too, for the dinosaurs as well. And the Dust Devil. Oh, Vanquish Souls. So these uh, Vanquish Souls are actually going to be the cards that people are rumouring that this is going to be meta. As you guys know, this is being pre-recorded, so probably right now they are now meta, but we do not know. Well, I don't know, not in this timeline. But nice, we got ourselves a different super rare now, which is not a, a chef card. But we're getting a lot, a lot of dinosaurs, which I don't mind. Because I know some people that actually really do want the uh, the, sh the dinosaurs. Another Ma Maju. Another Petite Dragon. And Vanquish Soul Trinity Burst. Okay, another Vanity Soul card. No Ultra Rares just yet out of 8 packs, which is a bit of a bummer, but... Like I said, Ultra Rares are a lot, lot harder to pull in the seven card packs. They're a lot harder. We've got Lost World. Finally, reprinting this. That means dinosaurs are definitely going to be very, very strong now. Devastating Virus, Calamity, Quill, Evolza Soldler. That is a really good reprint. Uh, right. And Vanquish Soul Continue. Wow. We're getting literally all the cards we need for both the Chef deck and the Vanity Soul, but no Super Rare Swap Dinosaurs yet. Quite strange. Final pack today, people. Can we end it off with a Ultra Rare or a possibly a Collector Rare? Definitely don't think it's going to be the Collector Rare, but either way, it'd be nice to see it. Double Evolution Pill. Baby Saurus. Another Pterodactyl. Giant Rex. We got ourselves Calamity. And a Vanquish Soul Devil. Okay, so we've got two doubles, which is not too bad, but at least they're actually two good archetypes, to be honest. I'm going to put the rares to the side, because we don't really need, need to see them again. But here are our hollow rares of the day. Sadly, no ultra rares, but I cannot really complain, to be honest. So we've got ourselves our Vanquish Soul cards right here. You guys can pause it if you really like to. And then we have ourselves our Chef cards. And there we go. I was quite happy that we actually did pull ourselves the um, the ritual card for them, though. That at least you can actually make something out of it. Anyhow, people, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. <laughs> Remember, people, we're trying to get to 30,000 subscribers this year. If you guys can get that done, I'd absolutely appreciate every single one of you. I'll be shaving every inch of my body completely bald if we do get to 30,000 subscribers. So if you guys want to see me being bald, I'm serious, being bald. Make sure you subscribe and share it to your friends and your family. With that being said, the people of us will see you guys subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! Not bad to start off the month off. No ultra rares, no collector rares, but like I said, seven card pack. They're hard to pull. But the next ones are going to be legendary. I like getting these. These are nice. I do have a clue what the values are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Ow! Oh! Ow! Oh!